Here's a young man in a business suit. He's got a secret. He's in the bathroom, standing in front of the mirror, washing his face with cold water to cheer up. There's no one else here besides him, but he's not alone. The guy looks nervous. He slaps his cheeks, looks in the mirror, and says, Don't worry, we can deal with it. We've been going to this for so long, we will win. He said we, not because he has a split personality. And no, he's not talking to someone else through a small microphone. He said we, because he knows a secret. Technically, he's not all human, but a group of billions of living creatures. Him, you, and all the people on Earth aren't really who they think they are. Only 43% of your body is made up of human cells. The remaining 57% are microbes and bacteria. Now this guy is going on stage to tell us this secret. Get on the scales. See the number? Now subtract a little more than half from it. This is your actual weight. Everything else is microscopic organisms. It's hard to believe because, in this case, your body should constantly change its shape, disintegrating into tiny particles. You would see your skin pulsating and continually moving. Fortunately, this doesn't happen for two reasons. Firstly, microbes are tiny. Their movements aren't visible. Secondly, most of this microbial world is in a dark place we can't see. A place without access to oxygen. In our intestines. It's where billions of little creatures are roaming. Feeling kind of crowded, huh? Some of them appeared before we were born. But most were colonists who came with food and water. On your body's surface, all microbes come from the environment. Every corner of your skin is covered with microbes. No matter how you try, it's impossible to get rid of them. There are more microbes than human cells. Our genome consists of about 20,000 genes. The number of microbes' genes in the human body is about 2 to 20,000 million. That means that technically, we're not people, but microbes. Fortunately, it's not so bad. The genome of microbes complements our own. Such a model of existence reveals many opportunities for medicine. The human microbiome includes bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms, all of them divided into many species, and each type performs its own functions. Some microbes are responsible for vitamin extraction from food. Others help the breakdown of destructive substances. Another type helps your tummy digest food. A separate group regulates your immune system, protects it against ills, parasites, and viruses. Some control weight. Simply put, microbes make your life better, help your body function, and affect your health. There are microorganisms that provoke many diseases. They impair immunity or affect vital organs. Imagine you know exactly which bacteria are responsible for feeling unwell. Next, you find a way to rid yourself of them. It can be some pill with poison against those microbes. You drink it, and the cure erases all the harmful pests inside your body. A disease might appear because of the lack of beneficial microbes. This is one of the ways doctors heal many people in the world. Now let's say you've determined a group of microbes that help strengthen muscles. Then you find out which trace element helps these bacteria work faster and more efficiently. You add this vitamin to food or just get a pill containing a billion of these microbes. As a result, your muscles grow twice as fast. The presence of some microbes or the lack of others can show the state of your entire body. A sample of your microbes can indicate your level of health or the presence of some disease. Any person can improve their body not only with the help of genetic engineering, but with microbial medicine. Studying human microbes is cheaper, more efficient, and faster than expensive, complex gene modifications. This area is just beginning to develop all over the world, but there are already some discoveries. Previously, humanity thought microbes were enemies. We made up many ways to destroy bacteria and viruses. But along with the harmful germs, these cures get rid of the good ones. Now scientists understand that microbes can both take away and save lives. So they started large-scale research on this subject. Let's have a look at a big panda. This animal with an ample supply of fat under its skin is omnivorous. It rarely eats meat. Its diet mostly consists of berries and bamboo shoots. But in winter, there's none of this. So pandas feed on bamboo leaves. That food is low-calorie, there's almost no proteins in it. But still, pandas don't lose weight after a cold winter. Recently, scientists found out how pandas do that. 
It's all thanks to a unique microbiome. Every winter, a lot of unique bacteria are born in their intestines. These microbes extract and synthesize helpful substances from bamboo leaves better than others, and thus preserve the panda's weight. Scientists put these bacteria inside field mice. Small rodents began to gain weight much faster. Hamburgers, cakes, and other heavy foods contain calories and help develop colonies of microbes that contribute to weight. Millions of species of microbes have millions of functions. In theory, each of these functions can be used for the sake of humans. So, imagine you need to lose or gain weight, and you just add these microbes to your lunch. Do you want to sleep better or fight drowsiness? Drink microbes that will affect the production of sleep hormones. Do you want to strengthen the bone tissue? Eh, no problem! Bacteria are not only inside our bodies, they're everywhere. Part of the planet is made up of microbes. These tiny organisms are constantly multiplying. Look, there are a trillion of them on your keyboard. One bacterium increases in size and splits into two bacteria. After a few minutes, these two increase and divide again. Four microorganisms appear. Each of them splits in two. The colony of bacteria is rapidly growing. With such quick reproduction, one microbe can make one ton of offspring in just 24 hours. After five days, bacteria will fill all the seas and oceans. They will weigh more than the whole planet. Under ideal conditions, bacteria could take over the whole world. However, this will never happen. There are no such perfect conditions for uncontrolled bacterial growth. The speed they multiply at is equal to the speed of their destruction. Dryness, water, light, high temperature, gases, humidity – all these phenomena help control their population. At the same time, microbes are in charge of most of the chemical reactions on Earth. An old apple on the ground is rotting because of germs and bacteria. Mold forms on bread because of microorganisms. But they don't just exist and affect the condition of any material and other living creatures. An endless battle for survival continues in the world of microorganisms. Giant bacteria absorb smaller ones. Microbes with spikes defeat long microbes. There are also viruses that penetrate bacteria and infect them with their cells. A small ball with a virus can destroy an entire colony of microbes. Viruses multiply and take over more and more territories until they meet strong immune cells on their way. There are also creatures resembling robots. They look like diamonds with mechanical legs. Despite this unusual appearance, they're 100% natural. We call them bacteriophages. They have only one purpose – to destroy all bacteria. Bacteriophages are additional protection of the planet from uncontrolled reproduction of microbes. When some microorganisms multiply, they leave decay waste. This waste is harmful to humans. Bacteriophages fight these microbes and save our lives. The coolest thing is that these defenders don't seek to take over the planet. They only attack bacteria. Every second, billions of microbes battle with billions of bacteriophages on any surface. Sounds like a video game. The crystal headed jumps on the bacterium and injects the genetic code inside it. This code has separate elements that connect to each other inside the microbe's body and becomes a new bacteriophage. Then it destroys the bacterium from the inside and goes for the next one. Look closely at your fingertip. There's a lot of life there. The strongest survive, the weak disappear. Wash it off, and new bacteria will come along with the water. Wipe your wet finger with a towel, and new germs will jump on you from there. And the battle will begin again. This is just the tip of your finger. Inside your body, some bacteria are fighting for your health against microbes that want to harm you. Some microbes in our intestine can be responsible for a good or bad mood. There are also parasitic bacteria that can affect our brain, the way we think, and our emotions. Some creatures control the behavior of animals and insects. Scientists constantly make discoveries in the world of microorganisms. So, bacteria are the rulers of our world. They appeared long before humans and the first animals, and most likely, they'll remain after us. Think about that.